Hey there, this is Sasha Burson with Camera Digital Marketing. So in this video, I am going to address common questions that I get asked by either business owners and or marketing managers of B2C companies. Typically, these are service providers that do generate sales leads and opportunities through their websites, but sell offline. Right, so this could be, I don't know, law firms or chiropractic offices or whatever it may be. So many different businesses that go through that process. Leads or prospects find you online, visit your website, and then place a call or complete a contact us form. And then a lot of these companies have a problem. And that problem is uh, nothing happens or very few sales happen. Typically, the issue with B2C lead generation could be one of Threefold. There are really three main reasons why you may not be generating enough B2C leads or may not be getting enough B2C customers, clients, or patients. Here's what they are. Number one is attraction. You're not attracting enough prospective customers, clients, or patients to your website. Number two is you may be attracting a lot of people or not, but very few of them are converting into actual leads, meaning they come to the website, they spend a few seconds there or a few minutes there, and then they leave without taking any action. And number three, there could be enough people coming to your website, enough people converting on the website into actual leads, whether they pick up the phone and call you or complete contact us form or reach out to you via, I don't know, Facebook Messenger, whatever channel they may use, but you get a lead, but then nothing happens. That's a sales issue, obviously. I'm going to really focus on the first two and I'll give you a little bit of the third one, like how to solve these problems. So traffic problem, first and foremost, the reason why so many small and even mid-sized businesses have a problem generating traffic is they're simply not going with their content, with their ads, wherever attention flows. What that means is if your prospective customers, clients, or patients are on Facebook, YouTube, uh, Google, obviously searching Yelp, wherever they may be, your content is probably not there or at least it's not in the volume that it should be. Meaning that there is very little of your content. So Google gives preference to companies that have plenty of content that offer information or answers to the questions that people ask you. Our favorite formula for that is TAWA, which stands for They Ask, We Answer, meaning your website should be answering all of the questions that your prospective customers, clients, or patients are asking, or reasonably so. Your social media should be answering all of the questions that they're asking. Just like what I'm doing right now, I am recording a video, right? This video, it's a very simple video. I do not require a ton of equipment or any help to record this video, but in every one of the videos that I record, what I do is I answer typical questions that were asked of me previously by other customers or prospects. So I answer them and thus for every video I create an answer and then we post it and we post it on the website in our blog section. We post it within the website internal pages and we distribute it on our Facebook page. And whenever we create niche specific content, so for example, specifically for a certain group of people that actually have a group on, for example, Facebook, right? We're going to actually send that content there and share it there. So it's very, very targeted, right? So when people see it, they understand that it's for them. They like what they see. And from whatever it is that they're seeing there, in a lot of our videos, a lot of our content, we offer different things absolutely free of charge, right? This is not an intent to sell something. It is just an intent to help someone. And this is a huge difference between like, high performance organizations and the rest is that high performance organizations typically when they produce content they make it useful for the end consumer they do not try to sell right they just focus on helping people so every offer like the one that i'm about to make here is designed to be helpful so for example one of the offers that i could make is say download down below it will be linked download a checklist how to get more to more b2c leads through your website or I could say, schedule a zero obligation, none whatsoever, meeting with me or one of the guys or gals on my team to talk about how your website could generate more B2C leads. See, those offers, zero dollars attached to it. Do you have to buy anything to consume those offers? No. Do you have to buy anything for us to do this for you? No, we'll just give it to you free of charge. If you like, 
and you see value in this, then you might convert. I recommend that every B2C organization follow this format. You create content that answers common questions. You post all of that content in video format and written format. And I understand writing is not for everyone. Video is not for everyone. You need to find the way that you communicate the best and feel most comfortable and confident communicating and you do it. Perhaps it's not you, not the person who is watching. Perhaps it should be someone on your team that should be doing that. But someone must be creating content because it is today the game. If you're not creating content and your competitors are, it's a game over for you in the near future. So you gotta make sure that you create content. And this is something that most small businesses fail to do. Just like the late great Jim Rohn said, what's easy to do is even easier not to do. So you gotta do this because the future of your business really depends on that. So one of the ways or the main way to attract more traffic and generate leads is to create content that's meaningful and valuable for your prospective clients. The second thing that you gotta do is your website must be optimized for the traffic and it must be optimized for conversion. Your website should be absolutely super user-friendly so when people come to it, it is so easy for them to con consume your content. Video is very easy to consume. Paragraphs about this long on desktop and about this long on mobile devices, not easy to consume. So you gotta make sure to follow the best practices of content for the web. For example, never create paragraphs that are over 100 words long. In fact, an ideal paragraph is fewer than 70 words long and has no more than three sentences. So you gotta make sure to break it apart because it's that much easier to consume that type of content, especially in the word world where most people do not read entire content, they skim through it, right? So they're just looking for the nuggets that they need to find. And by the way, because we have such short attention spans and we prefer video to written text, it would behoove you to create both video and then convert it into text just like we do here. If you want to know more about the way that we do this, see a link down below right there. Yeah, if you click on it, I will tell you in that video exactly how it gets done here. Fast, cheap, easy, and can be produced in quantity. And all of this, once again, is designed to be very, very, very useful for the people who watch this. Now, once you deploy all of that content and in, those, in that content you have different content offers or lead gen magnets, lead magnets for people to convert, you can follow up with them automatically by attaching what's called a marketing automation module to your website. Don't do this at home, folks. Get somebody else who knows how to do this. By the way, I am not a technical expert, but I have plenty of people in the company who can set it up for you. So your website actually follows up with people automatically by delivering more useful content to their inbox. And after they visited your website, you know what they're in the market for. Make sure that you have an advertising campaign in place. So after they saw your website, you start serving them ads on various platforms. So when they are ready to convert, they will click on one of those offers and convert. Thanks for watching.